morning, everybody. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Um, I'm in the planter and the pivot. Just moved far enough out of my way. I set a park angle with my phone, um, but it's far enough out of the way now and the engine is still running, giving the pivot power. And so I'm at the well motor now and we're gonna hop out, turn the engine off so that I can plant where the pivot was yesterday. We were supposed to get rain last night and one of my fields got rained on. It got an inch, which is crazy, but none of the other fields got rain on them. And so that's kind of good because it means we can keep planting today, but also I would have loved it if it would have rained, but there's rain forecasted for this evening. So we'll see if that plays out. If you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Laura. I am a fifth generation, third year farmer in central Nebraska. And today we are planting corn with my John Deere 8345R Demco side tanks and a John Deere 1725 stack full of box planter. Sorry if the cab looks a little um, lived in. We're on day, oh my goodness, what day are we even on? Maybe seven day, or no, no longer, we've been planting for longer than that. Nine of planting, day 12, you know what, I don't even know. Days are kind of starting to just run together. Um, I don't know. I feel a little bit more put together than last planting season. Last planting season, I kept a toothbrush at the farm because I just like rolled out of bed in the mornings and came straight to the farm. And then I would brush my teeth as we were like loading the planter with starter or something. And I haven't done that yet this year. I don't know, who knows that, that may be coming. We're not maybe quite to that point yet. Um, but for a little planting progress, um, we've got, let's see here, I've got a count in my head. This will be for me as much it is, as it is for you. One, two, three. We have three soybean fields planted, which is actually all of our soybean fields. We just have a few um, seed corn field borders that we need to drill to soybeans. Um, but other than that, we're done with soybeans. Um, let's see here, seed corn, we've planted three fields and we have two more full fields to plant to seed corn, but then two of our fields are a double delay male plant, so we'll actually go over those entire fields again, planting in males. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch your previous video. I explain it in depth there. Um, and we've planted, I'm working on planting commercial corn, and we've only planted one other commercial corn field. And we've got three and a half, roughly, to go on that. Okay, I think that's our, if that makes any sense, that's our planting progress update. Um, uh, monitor setup, we've got Ag Leader for Auto Steer, iPad and 2020 Seed Sense Gen 2 Precision Planting that's tracking planting data and two John Deere monitors and then a little um, 
switch for our fertilizer that we're applying in furrow along with the seed to give the seed a little jump start to life. <sighs> Monitor just told me that row 16 wasn't planting for some reason, which that should not be the case because we just filled up with seed not too long ago. So I'm guessing it's something else, but we're gonna go check it out. I am very, very surprised. I must have been, I must have planted more than I thought because almost all the row units are out of seed. I guess I go fill up again. I have a little math equation for you guys. All right, so this is what we're planting. Pioneer 1563 AML. And this is a 41.29 pound bag. And there's 1,938 kernels per pound. And we are planting at a population of um, 32,000 seeds per acre. So how many bags of seed are we going to need to plant another 20 acres? Can anyone figure that out for me? All right, now this is where math starts coming into play in real life, kids, so pay attention. So I have 16 rows, obviously, here. And, oh, perfect, I've got eight bags of this product of seed left. Here is the tricky part though. So I only, so eight bags obviously divides perfectly even on 16 rows, but I was carrying one bag on the side and to finish that last round that we just did, I, di I divided one bag among these seven row units here. So that's not exactly even already. And because this is the last of that product that we're planting, I also have to kind of figure in our starter. So with this particular product and this particular product only, we put an extra product in with a starter and it's a really expensive product, over $300 a gallon. And so the next corn product that we're going to be planting, we don't need to put that in. And I think I have 40-ish, eh, maybe, maybe under 40 acres left. No, I probably want maybe 20 or 30 acres. And my monitors don't tell me exactly how many acres left that I have because of a problem with the date that the computer thought it was. It thought it was 2020, it's 2022 obviously, so I don't have exact numbers for that. So I'm going to put all of this seed in, but I just need to figure out how much starter I'm gonna to have to do. We're putting on five gallons an acre and I have a little over 150 gallons left. I'm just gonna do some figuring. bags in and I just tried to make the boxes as even as possible. I think I did a decent job, or tried to at least. So now we're just going to take note of how many, how many bags I put in and what my computer says how many acres I've done and just plant till the seed runs out I guess. It's really humid outside and there's an east wind so hoping for rain. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm back set up in the field now. And one of, so I was loading seed and then I auto, I load my meters. And so uh, the plants will be ready to plant as soon as I enter the field because the vacuum, vacuums had been shut off and I was filling with seed. And I was all lined up and one of my meters didn't load. And I was like, oh, that's kind of strange. So I went back out there to check it out and it was a total fluke. Like there's a little bit of dust and dirt in there. 
And I was like, okay, it's kind of weird. But then I started looking around um, because I found this on the ground. I found these pieces of glass. And they're really pretty colors. Purple, blue, clear. And usually that means that a long, long time ago, there was like a house buried under the ground somewhere. And then I found like a little brick pieces. It's fine. And then I found this, which looks like something from a shotgun shell maybe. And then I found this, which looks like a door hinge, I'm guessing. Then I found this, which looks like some kind of pulley, I'm guessing. But the real find, and this is, God is looking out for me, I know that for a fact, because I walked around the, fl the front of the planter. I cannot even believe this. This was wedged in the ground like this, so the, like the spike was sticking up almost right in front of one of my front tires. Like very difficult to see from the cab, but like only if you were outside. I don't know what this is exactly, but I guarantee this would have popped my tire and that would have been the end of planting for today. So thank you, Jesus. My goodness. What do, I don't know. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. Anyways, some cool finds. Row 15 needs shuffled and uh, my AC is still leaking. There's um, these little drainage hoses that are supposed to drain all the condensation out the bottom of the tractor, but those get plugged up with dirt um, with how dry and dusty it's been. And so it comes out of the ceiling vents, which is a little unpleasant. It's kind of like being rained on in the cab, but we've got paper towels and some rags to kind of try and help it. I can see the end of the field. See that dark spot? That has been planted. I've just got that much left, but I have a sneaking, oh, I'll definitely need starter. Dad's gonna come help me fill with starter and bring me some more capture. I think I'm gonna need some more seed. So I'm gonna have him bring the seed tender out to finish because I just think we're gonna need some more. I cannot believe it. I don't think this will ever happen again. I have just enough seed left and just enough starter with product in it. I think it matches up perfectly. So I'll be able to completely reload with our new product of seed that we'll be planting and fill up with 550 gallons of starter with no extra product in it. And I'm finishing on the, like, the correct side of the field that has the trailer with starter on it. Unbelievable. This will never happen again. This is perfect. There's dad leaving in the white pickup that's hooked up to the seed tender. We did a record fill with seed and starter. Everything is working perfectly. I, I know you can't see it on the map because things were wonky. Uh, but the point is all of this is planted and all of this is planted. So I have like a finger length stripe down the middle and then we will be done on this field and it's not raining yet. So I think we're just gonna go ahead, we fill the planter all the way up and I think we're just gonna move on to another commercial corn field and just plant until it starts raining. Successfully made it to the other field. Um, and you can see behind me, it's planting really nicely. This is a rare field that we disked. We usually do not do very much tillage at all, but this was a test plot and it had rows going crossways. Um, and so we ended up just disking it. And so it's planting really nicely. It's really mellow dirt actually. Um, the half inch rain that we got like five days ago really saved us. Our ground was like hard as concrete before from how hard the wind has been blowing recently. Um, but it seems to be planting really nicely and hasn't rained yet. So we'll just keep going until it dies. Field done with the planter. We had mile long rows for two quarters in a row. So that was awesome. A little, little under 320 acres. And I pulled in here noon yesterday. So 
So it's what four o'clock now. So really, uh, really getting the fishing around here. So that was good. Planter is working awesome. Fertilizer system is on point from the guys at Surefire. So I'm on to the next one. I'm gonna go stop and get a snack first. You know it's full tractor cab season when you have lots of empty Northern Chill bottles in the cab. Stuff's keeping us hydrated out here. Thanks guys. This is the first time we've ever been able to farm these mile long rows. So dad owns that quarter and 80 and I just rented this 80 this year. So we farmed it all the way through. Check that out, 315 acres. that two perfect quarters right there so he owns that right there and I rent that so it works out really nice and on the rest of the section we'll plant soybeans and soybeans over here I guess I should point out this this precision planting setup is all new for me so I'm just getting to learn it but it's really nice because you can type in your hybrids and your fields and stuff. And we, this is the first time I've used prescriptions for planting. And we've always just uh, manually turned down the ends so you can see where the, the pivots go around. That's irrigated population and the red is non-irrigated population. But that worked really nice. Loving the setup though, it's working great. So obviously no rain yet up ahead, as I cannot even see where I'm going. I'm kind of relying on my map to let me know where I'm at in the field. Looks like we're a little over halfway right now. Can't see a thing. But back here, looks like our storm is rolling in. We're actually in a tornado watch right now. I am expecting rain soon. All right, so I turned the AC off in the cab. That's why my face is so red because the, the ceiling is still leaking and I thought maybe it would stop leaking if I turn the AC off and it kind of did. So I'm just going to keep it off, but it's just very, very humid and hot in here. Still hasn't rained yet. Um, and we've planted 45 acres on this second field today, which is good, it's good. We're making planting progress, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, today has just been like a crazy weird day. Look at this, this never happens. All right, so the iPad, right? So I was planting over here and this came out perfectly to 16 rows. That never ha like usually I'd have to nudge over and it would be like maybe 14 or 13 or something, but it came out perfectly to 16 and that is just, that's just pretty cool. It seems to be planting pretty well and the dark clouds kind of blew away. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on with the weather right now. Okay, it's super windy out here, but I got out of the tractor. We moved over from the disc ground to some ground that was kind of ridged. You can see there's a bump here. And I just wanted to make sure that seeds were still getting good depth and spacing. So I took my handy dandy trowel and dug, and look at all these little pink seeds we have. They're getting into this darker dirt is moisture and they're sitting in moisture and they're at the perfect depth. They're at like inch and three quarters. And I found worms when I was digging too. So I'm just going to cover those up. The planter's working, everybody. Thank goodness, the computers aren't lying. Back to it. Dad is bringing more, me more fertilizer because I'm out. So I was walking around looking at the planter, checking everything out. Look what I found. Does anybody know what this is? This is for an anhydrous tank, I believe. That's what I think it is. This field is kind of a fun shape, kind of oddly shaped. Um, I was expecting to maybe do this much, but instead I've done this much, AKA 67.4 acres. Don't mind that beeping. It's supposed to be beeping. Um, Dad is convinced that rain slash maybe hail is coming soon. I am losing faith quickly this, I don't know, it's really windy out of the east. 
I just don't know. However, I don't want to be parking equipment in a hailstorm. So I'm at a pretty good stopping point when I get to the end of this pass. So I'm just going to call it a day when I get to the east side of the field and then drive this home and we'll get everything all stacked nicely inside and just call it a night. Because now it is uh, almost seven o'clock. Haven't had dinner yet. Getting a little bit hungry. Um, overall, excellent, excellent day though. I appreciate you guys being around along for the ride. It was actually a really exciting, good day today. Um, didn't go how I expected it, but that's okay. Um, Thanks for following along. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, now is your chance and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Just an update. I made it inside. I'm literally like shaking right now. The wind was blowing in all four different directions as I was driving home and lightning literally everywhere and my phone was beeping because we're in a tornado watch right now. It is downpouring now and we're just trying to stack everything in the shop. Oh my goodness rain we have not had rain in so long i just hope there's no hail or tornadoes with it